finally, do remember to tolerate your friends' friends, however alien and peculiar they may seem to you. Don't. Doesn't cousin Midge's face look swollen? Well, that's because she's pregnant. Is that why? I think it's irresponsible to have children, I mean. Well, somebody's got to have children, Jackie. We can't let the rest die out. The babies grow up to look like you. That must be fun. Mother malice, strangle violence, suppress prejudice. Oh, here's Montag. Be tolerant today. Remember, being just pretty is not enough. The wife who uses translucent knows better than that. Try some today, but watch out for your friend's husband. They'll be round the side of life. seen Jackie and Doris and Helen for ages. It's very rude, you know. Leave me alone. Aren't you well? All right. But it's very naughty. have finished their course and been reclassified. Two cells of antisocials were located earlier today in the western metropolitan area. The police have declined to comment so far. Meanwhile, the report those who threatened met with particular success today. When an old woman cousins chose to be burned with her books rather than being separated from them. If that's a joke, you know, it's not in very good taste. You would like to think that, wouldn't you? Don't be silly, Montag. Things like that don't happen. You mean you don't want to hear about it? I saw it. Well, my husband says that... Oh, your husband. People. You don't even know where he is, your husband. Montag! Of course I know. He's been called on reserve for some field training. Or to fight a little war, perhaps. You never know, do you? Why'd you call it that? Well, even if he was, what about it? He's not allowed to call me till it's all over. It'll only be about a week or two. Anyway, you'll be all right. Point about wars is, if you want to call them that. It's only other women's husbands who get killed in them. That's true. I never knew anyone who got killed in a... Not anyone whose husband died like that. Getting run over, jumping out of a window, yes. Like Gloria's husband a few nights ago. But never that other way. Anyway, that's life, isn't it? That's what you call it. You're nothing but zombies, all of you. Just like those husband of yours you don't even know anymore. You're not living, you're just killing time. Well, I think it's time to go. Yes, I... Thank you, it was a lovely afternoon. Really fun. Yes. yes. Sit down, come on, sit down. It will only take a minute. Whatever's that? Darling, it's not a book. That's what it is, it's a novel. Oh, but a book? Oh, you mustn't. It's against the law. Quiet. Sit down and listen. Since Montag really insists, but when he's through, I hope we can do as we please. There can be no disparity in marriage like unsuitability of mind and purpose. I had endeavored to adapt Dora to myself and found it impracticable. It remained for me to adapt myself to Dora, to share with her what I could and be happy. It made my second year much happier than my first, and what was better still, made Dora's life all sunshine. But as that year wore on, Dora was not strong. I had hoped that lighter hands than mine would help to mold her character, and that a baby smile upon her breast might change my child wife to a woman. It was not to be. My pretty Dora. We thought she would be running about as she used to do in a few days. But he said, wait a few days more, and then wait a few days more, and still she neither ran nor walked. I began to carry her downstairs every morning and upstairs every night. But sometimes when I took her up and felt that she was lighter in my arms, a dead blank feeling came up on me, as if I were approaching to some frozen region, yet unseen, that numbed my life. I avoided the recognition of this feeling by any name or by any communing with myself until one night. And it was very strong upon me, 
And my aunt had left her with her parting cry, oh, uh, goodbye, little Blossom. I sat down at my desk alone and cried to think of what a fatal name it was and how the blossom withered in its bloom up in the tree. I knew that's what would happen. It's what I've always said. Life isn't like novels. Novels and tears, novels and suicide. Novels are sick. That was sheer cruelty, Montag. You're a cruel man. All those words, idiotic words, evil words that hurt people. Isn't there enough trouble as it is? Why disturb people with that sort of filth? Poor Doris. Bye, Linda. We were having such a nice party. Such a shame. I can't. I don't know those feelings. I... I've forgotten all about those things. Oh, I'm sorry, Doris. It won't come back. I'll be all alone. I won't be popular anymore. They won't use me in the family anymore. And you made Doris cry. She cried because it is true. What are you going to do now? Haven't you done enough harm already? Leave me alone, Linda. I've got reading to do quite a lot. What's the matter with you? Aren't you well? It's nothing. I've got to read. I've got to catch up with the remembrance of the past. Mm -hmm. 